Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. So with update 6.0 yesterday, many people and all with good reason were expecting some brand new bugs to pop up and save the world. There were of course a few that came after this update, but after the update went live, I was seeing a few posts on Reddit. I saw a YouTube comment or two talking about the decoy for the constructors being bugged and it was not working on miss monsters or mini bosses. I kind of pushed it off to the side for the time being until I had actual solid information on it and I could test it for myself, but Epic Games put out an official statement. I'll have their original post linked in the description below, but it turns out this was in fact not a bug, but instead a direct change to the decoy's functionality, and they didn't even tell you about it. If you're not understanding what I'm saying here, basically any sort of constructor that is focused on the decoy, like Hazard the 13th or Controller Harper, that hero was nerfed and Epic Games didn't even tell you. Their post over on Reddit says, We want to apologize for omitting the change for decoy not affecting miss monsters or mini bosses from the release patch notes. We messed up here. The goal behind the change was to investigate a way to reduce the endgame effectiveness against enemies. We loved the functionality of the ability, but felt specifically Horde Mode highlighted the negative nature of chaining decoys. There should be multiple options for endgame strategies, and we should not be limited to singular abilities or strategies. We've explored a few options, but felt this was the best change to make for the sake of endgame clarity, and it's very much a feature we're still testing to see how it feels. Okay, so first off, I'm totally fine with game balance, you know, nerfing heroes, buffing weapons and all that type of stuff. I'm fine with that. It happens in pretty much every game and it is to be expected. But when they are saying they're doing this for the sake of end game effectiveness, there is no end game in Fortnite Save the World. The same missions we're doing in Twine Peaks are the same exact stuff that we have been doing since mid-level Plankerton. There is nothing different. The Husk are just higher level and they have more health. There is nothing hard about the end game. If anything, over the past couple of months, the end game or last lack thereof has been getting easier. So doing so for the end game effectiveness and balance there is absolutely ridiculous because it does not exist. If we had raids, high level dungeons, all types of stuff like that, actual end game activities, I could understand, you know, balancing it for end game effectiveness, but we don't have that right now. So that there is a load of crap. Second, they said they were doing this because horde mode highlighted the negative nature. Horde Mode, a limited time mode, highlighted the negative nature of chaining decoys. The entire reason we were chaining decoys in the high level Horde Mode was because there was like a hundred power level difference. Once you hit challenge, I think it was like 51, the husk were like power level 200. The player cap is 125. We were doing this because we were doing so much less damage. It's easier to group the husk up into one, keep them in your traps and shoot them with stuff like like the helium shoddy than it is to just try and kill them as they come for your base. We did this because of the drastic level difference. In any other mode, this is not all that common. This isn't something every single player is doing. I've seen this maybe once or twice in a random Q storm shield, but outside of that, you may have like one or two constructors running around in a mission, popping a decoy off to pull husk away from a wall so you can do some repairs, set up some traps and all that type of stuff. This decoy functionality nerf is absolute garbage. I love the controller. I, it's one of my favorite classes to play, and this makes me not even want to touch it anymore. Just that little breath of fresh air you can get when you put down that decoy, it pulls the smashers and all that stuff away. It was a game changer, and them making this change, and then not even saying anything about it, I don't know, just has me really upset. I would love to talk with you guys about it. What do you think? Was this a needed change? Was it not needed? What do you guys think about it? Let's talk in the comment section below, but I am going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, a like is always appreciated, and if you happen to be new to Split Screen, be sure to subscribe for everything Fortnite and more. Once again, my name is Morgan, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.